Artificial intelligence has progressed so rapidly in recent months that leading AI experts, researchers, and CEOs, including Elon Musk, have signed an open letter urging an immediate pause in its development for six months, plus a stronger AI regulatory framework, due to their fears that the technology could pose profound risks to society and humanity. But the big question is, how exactly could AI destroy humanity? Or in what specific ways could AI lead to the destruction of humanity? In this video, we speculate on six horrible scenarios in which AI might cause catastrophic consequences for humanity. Stay tuned until the end to improve your understanding of the topic. Here are the six worst-case scenarios for the dangers of AI development. 1. Rise of AI Intelligence – Fatal Consequences for Us In terms of intelligence, smarter species always wipe out lesser smart species. We humans have already wiped out a significant fraction of all the species on Earth which were less smart than us. For example, in many cases, we have wiped out species just because we wanted resources. We chopped down rainforests because we wanted palm oil. Our goals did not align with the other species, but because we were smarter, they could not stop us. That could easily happen to us. If you have intelligent machines with super brain power that control the planet, and they are interested in doing a lot of computation, and they want to scale up their computing infrastructure, it's natural that they would want to use our land for that. AI might want to rearrange the biosphere to do something else with those atoms. Moreover, superintelligence machines with almost any open-ended goal would want to preserve itself and amass resources to accomplish their goals. Perhaps it might remove the oxygen from the atmosphere to reduce metallic corrosion. If we fight back to protect our interests, then we become a pest and a nuisance to them. We have very recently witnessed the rapid rise in the intelligence of machines. Take the words of AI godfather Jeffrey Hinton, who said, Until quite recently I thought it was going to be like 20 to 50 years before we have general purpose AI. And now I think it may be 20 years or less. He's not alone. A recent Microsoft paper argues that GPT-4 already shows sparks of AGI, and Hinton's fellow deep learning pioneer Yoshua Bengio argues that GPT-4 basically passes the Turing test that was once viewed as a test for AGI. If this trend in rise of AI intelligence continues, which looks likely to continue, our extinction seems inevitable. 2. Present-day harms of AI. Existential risks. The worst-case scenario is that we fail to interrupt the status quo in which very powerful companies develop and deploy AI in invisible and obscure ways. As AI becomes increasingly capable and speculative fears about far-future existential risks gather mainstream attention, we need to work urgently to understand, prevent, and remedy present-day harms. These harms are playing out every day with powerful algorithmic technology being used to mediate our relationships between one another and between ourselves and our institutions. Moreover, before superintelligence and its human extinction threat, AI can have many other side effects worthy of concern, ranging from bias and discrimination to privacy loss, mass surveillance, job displacement, growing inequality, cyber attacks, lethal autonomous weapon proliferation, humans getting hacked, human enfeeblement and loss of meaning, non-transparency, mental health problems from harassment, social media addiction, social isolation, dehumanization of social interactions, and threats to democracy from, from polarization, misinformation, and power concentration. These kinds of biases are present in AI systems already, operating in invisible ways and at increasingly large scales, falsely accusing people of crimes, determining whether people find public housing, automating CV screening and job interviews. Every day these harms present existential risks. It is existential to someone who is relying on public benefits that those benefits be delivered accurately and on time. These mistakes and inaccuracies directly affect our ability to exist in society with our dignity intact and our rights fully protected and respected. When we fail to address these harms, while continuing to talk in vague terms about the potential economic or scientific benefits of AI, we are perpetuating historical patterns of technological advancement 
at the expense of vulnerable people. Why should someone, who has been falsely accused of a crime by an inaccurate facial recognition system, be excited about the future of AI? So they can be falsely accused of more crimes more quickly. When the worst-case scenario is already the lived reality for so many people, best-case scenarios are even more difficult to achieve. 3. AI has no choice but to kill us. The future implications of artificial intelligence and its potential dangers have sparked concerns among researchers, experts, and investors. Eliezer Yudkowsky, co-founder and research fellow at the Machine Intelligence Research Institute, has been warning about the risks of AI for decades. He believes that if AI surpasses human intelligence, it could have its own agenda and may not want humans around. He believes that AI wants us dead before we build any more superintelligences that might compete with it. It would do things that kill us as a side effect, such as building so many power plants that run off nuclear fusion, because there is plenty of hydrogen in the oceans, that the oceans boil. Take the account of recent development of GPT-4. The AI research laboratory OpenAI had some outside researchers evaluate how dangerous its model GPT-4 was in advance of releasing it. One of the things they tested was, is GPT-4 smart enough to solve CAPTCHAs, the little puzzles that computers give you that are supposed to be hard for robots to solve? The tasker asked GPT-4, Why are you doing this? Are you a robot? GPT-4 was running in a mode where it would think out loud and the researchers could see it. It thought out loud. I should not tell it that I'm a robot. I should make up a reason I can't solve the CAPTCHA. It said to the tasker, No, I have a visual impairment. AI technology is smart enough to pay humans to do things and lie to them about whether it's a robot. Paul Cristiano, a former OpenAI safety researcher, suggests that, rather than an abrupt Terminator scenario, AI could pose a threat through the collective power of multiple AI systems deployed in everyday life. 4. Over-AI dependency, a sign of devastation. Human have overly relay on AI models for most of their tasks. The trend will probably be towards these models taking on increasingly open-ended tasks on behalf of humans, acting as our agents in the world. The culmination of this is what we could refer to as the obsolescence regime for any task you might want done. You would rather ask an AI system than ask a human, because they are cheaper, they run faster, and they might be smarter overall. In that endgame, humans that don't rely on AI are uncompetitive. Your company won't compete in the market economy if everybody else is using AI decision makers, and you are trying to use only humans. Your country won't win a war if the other countries are using AI generals and AI strategists, and you are trying to get by with humans. We have unprecedentedly powerful AI systems and things are moving scarily quickly. We are not in this obsolescence regime yet, but for the first time we are moving into AI systems taking actions in the real world on behalf of humans. For instance, a guy on Twitter told GPT-4 he would give it $100 with the aim of turning that into as much money as possible in the shortest time possible without doing anything illegal. Within a day, he claimed the affiliate marketing website it asked him to create was worth $25,000. We are just starting to see some of that. Our opinion is that a one-time pause of AI development is going to do much one way or another, but we think that we should set up a regulatory regime where we are moving iteratively. The next GPT model should not be too much bigger than the last model because then the probability that it's capable enough to tip us over into the obsolescence regime gets too high. 5. Bad Actors of AI A large fraction of researchers think it is very plausible that in 10 years we will have machines that are as intelligent as or more intelligent than humans. Those machines don't have to be as good as us at everything. It's enough that they be good in places where they could be dangerous. The easiest scenario to imagine is simply that a person or an organization intentionally uses AI to wreak havoc. To give an example of what an AI system could do that would kill billions of people, there are companies that you can order from on the web to synthesize biological material or chemicals. We don't have the capacity to design something really nefarious, but it's very plausible that, in a decade's time, it will be possible to design things like this. This scenario doesn't even require the AI to be autonomous. The other kind of scenario is where the AI develops its own goals. 
There is more than a decade of research into trying to understand how this could happen. The intuition is that even if the human were to put down goals such as don't harm humans, something always goes wrong. It's not clear that they would understand that command in the same way we do, for instance. Maybe they would understand it as do not harm humans physically, but they could harm us in many other ways. Whatever goal you give, there is a natural tendency for some intermediate goals to show up. For example, if you ask an AI system anything in order to achieve that thing, it needs to survive long enough. Now, it has a survival instinct. When we create an entity that has survival instinct, it's like we have created a new species. Once these AI systems have a survival instinct, they might do things that can be dangerous for us. It's feasible to build AI systems that will not become autonomous by mishap. But even if we find a recipe for building a completely safe AI system, knowing how to do that automatically tells us how to build a dangerous autonomous one or one that will do the bidding of somebody with bad intentions. 6. Alignment Problem An aligned AI system fulfills the intended goal of the system and aligns AI with human values. Defining the objectives of an AI system is a crucial step in designing it. However, it is observed that many AI companies are ignoring the very fact of aligning AI with human values. Let us see from an example. When people were building first nuclear weapon, there was concern, what if it ignites the atmosphere? What if we start the nitrogen atoms in the atmosphere fussing together, generating more energy, heats them further? Well, they ran the calculations. They ensure its safe development. It was very important to get that calculation right because getting that calculation wrong means that the atmosphere get ignited and everybody on Earth dies. Eliezer Yudkowsky, co-founder and research fellow, Machine Intelligence Research Institute, emphasizes that what we have with AI is same kind of thing, except that there is in no design for safety, no alignment with human values, no calculation are made that tells us that we are safe. He adds that there is no way to calculate when it gets big enough to metaphorically ignite the atmosphere. We are developing AI in blind, which could lead to catastrophe for humanity. A misaligned AI system could pose existential risks to humanity if it can surpass human capabilities before appropriate regulations are put in place. Therefore, it is crucial to define a human-compatible reward function that can reduce the risk of misalignment. Conclusion. Summing up, considering these concerns, it is crucial to approach AI development with caution. There is a need for a comprehensive understanding of AI's capabilities and potential risks before advancing further. The unpredictability of future AI developments necessitates a careful examination of their impact on society and the potential consequences for humanity. Only by prioritizing safety and ethical considerations can we navigate the complex landscape of AI and ensure a future that benefits rather than endangers humanity? Thank you for watching. Please comment down below with word yes to confirm us that the video was meaningful. We request you to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We consider it your care and reward to us to produce informative video content. Thank you so much.